I hear in my ear, yes. in my ear hole, that we actually have Chris Perillo it's, joining oh, us. Oh, Chris is on. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what are you Michael, doing, give us a, give us a minute. Don't go too far. Okay. Because I might need a. A break. I might need no, to get the heck out you of don't here. need a break. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna come back to you in just a minute. Absolutely. Phil, do you know Chris Perillo? I do now. Hi, Chris. Hi. Chris. Hi. How are you, sir? Android in the car years ago. Oh. Long, 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 long ago. Hang oh, on, hang on, a, Chris. We've got an audio issue. I heard what you said. You put... <laughs> <laughs> Screaming! I don't know. I, 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 am I, now we got you. Now Hello? we got you. Yes. There, gotcha. I have nothing in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> nothing in between my ear, actually. Nothing <laughs> lost that goes in between. Uh, yeah, I'm just. Uh, I was setting the stage here for uh, for my live broadcast, yes. and I realized I am severely underdressed. No, <laughs> not a problem at all. You should dress uh, for your show. Uh, well, yeah, because uh, it definitely does not involve a tie or collars. Oh, you know, I don't. There are I don't no have ties a tie. here. There are no Never, ties, no allowed, ties here. allowed. Does anybody well, yeah, have a tie? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's true. I do have a collar. It's pretty close to me. You yeah. know, uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> So thanks for joining us, Chris. I know you have to, to get going soon, but what's what's going on in your world? You've uh, been very busy lately. Baby. Well, I'm not the one. But hang on. She's the one gestating. Here, let me just. There, There's Diana. Hi, Diana. Diana. How are you? Very, very, wow. The very pregnant Diana. Yes. <laughs> and we have baby's first clothes here. It's uh, baby Darth Vader. Awesome. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> We'll be uh, dressing appropriately for the occasion, whatever the occasion nice. happens to be here. Bill, did you get your babies, your kids? You have two, three? Yeah. We, we have two, two girls. Two girls. Only two. Only She's two. like, only two. No. No more. No, <laughs> if you wonder why I'm out of town so much, it's, I love my daughters. I do, but wow. What? But two daughters. I'm, I'm overrun. Right. Yeah, my brother's but, got a couple of them too. But maybe they would be better if you if you got them like Star Wars they outfits. They love Star Wars. Maybe they? they could get Princess Leia outfits. Love Star Wars. Yeah. They wouldn't yeah. be Star Wars. I didn't mean like that. <laughs> so Chris, did you just? What's going on? Uh, did you just have a big event? Uh, no, the big event's about to happen. Up okay. Here in Seattle, about two thousand people, non geeks. I think we got like a, or there are a few geeks, a handful, like Barnacle's Nerdgasm and, and Basher, who's a really big Minecrafter on YouTube. Um, Vlogger Fair it happened last year. You guys helped support it, and we really appreciate it. Uh, that's, uh, that's a go. We got about 2,000 people showing up this year that's at awesome. Seattle Center in the shadow of the Space Needle. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy about that because uh, I'll be talking to a handful of other father and mother vloggers or... Uh, Mother vlogger. That just sounds weird. Mother, you mother vloggers. <laughs> you know, uh, parent, parental vloggers, I guess. And uh, so I'll be asking them for advice as a, a first-time parent uh, since they've been in that, that world for quite some time and, and vlogging the experience all the while. That's awesome. We we had quite the conversations at Talk Mobile about uh, about how to parent and in, involve technology in the parenting. I'm uh, you definitely have some thoughts on I, that. I've got one turning eight on Tuesday. Happy birthday, Mia! And, well, let me just uh, very you know a lot of questions coming my way. When can I get my own phone? Can I get my own phone? I need my own phone. Give me my own phone. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So you you know what to look forward to, Chris. Well, they, the, the, that's the problem is that I, I'm, I'm looking around for all this, uh, you know, like baby tech, if you will. And I mean, it's out there, but 99.999% of it sucks. It's horrific. It's horrible. It's nasty. It's bad. I wouldn't even wish that on my own kid. <laughs> matter of fact, that's really that's the plan. <laughs> but isn't that because most of the people who start looking for that baby tech, they just, there's no preparation for it. They're just like in this urgent buying mode. And so it doesn't have to be particularly good, maybe? Uh, I, I think that the, the standards have been low for quite some time, uh, and, and, and no one's really kind of walked in and disrupted it. Even those, uh, I guess, ecosystems that have had like gadgetry that could be used for babies aren't faring very well in terms of actual user reviews and adoption. So I, I, I'm like, I'm really, I'm not frustrated, but I'm, at the same time, it's like to me, it's just the state of a lot of gadgetry these days. It's just a lot of half fulfilled promises and horrible experiences and uh you know my time is is becoming more and more precious uh my precious <laughs> yeah, uh, so i i hope that uh you know i I'm, I'm going to try to 
not go overboard with you know the gadgetry that I might uh, bring into uh, the house, but being very calculated in terms of, of what I pick up. Because I think a lot of it's, they're missed promises. But it's just like the rest of the consumer electronics industry. A lot of it sucks. Uh, <laughs> well, it's true. It is true. I mean, I'm so, I mean I, it's, it sucks. Well, and people you know, have just accepted it. If you look at it from it. a different perspective, there's so much that you just get to find the cool stuff. Well, that's our yes. job. That's our job, right? <laughs> our job is to... We we see all the stuff that sucks, so you don't and have filter to. through it, yeah, right. To tell everybody, yeah, and that's all our job. Here's the good Chris, stuff. Chris, Phil, well, no, it's not my job. It's, it, that's oh, not come my, on. my job to find cool Darth Vader things. That's where it begins and ends. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, you, you got. I'll, I'll let you guys figure out the the baby things, and you let me know what doesn't suck. Because everything I've seen so far has been like. Ninth level of hell suckitude. <laughs> <laughs> How about you guys in the audience? Uh, babies, you feel that same? You got babies in your audience? How no, you? no. <laughs> Anybody with kids? Yes. Yes. Any gadgets you found? No. Okay, I guess they now, feel the same way. Now there is one thing that you can get. My brother got this stroller that's like super high tech. Oh, that or. or, or the, the origami. origami. The, origami. Oh, the yeah. origami. It's pretty high. But there's one problem with it. It's so high tech, I cannot work it. <laughs> That's the problem. Again, it comes down to experience. Yeah. yeah. Literally, like, like one time he said, here, take this out, you know, like to the car, or whatever, you know. And I was just standing there by the car trying to figure out how to fold this damn thing up and stick it in the car. I couldn't do it. It weighs 35 pounds, too. Oh yeah, it's not light. It's not right. Light. It's, it's it weighs a lot. It's 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 potential. It's got potential, and I think the future is there. But I think Chris is right with a lot of this. But you got to come over here. All right. I think, uh, yeah. I think Chris is right with a lot of this, but I think the thing is, I have a 13-month-old, and yeah. so I've kind of been living through this a little bit. And I think the thing is that they expect parents to buy it and get rid of it quickly, so they want to keep it cheap. Yeah. Um, and they don't expect you to continue to use the stuff when it can be used, or you can give it to a second child, or give it away to yeah. charity. And so I think that's the biggest reason. And I think the other reason is parents are in such a frenzy when they're going through the pregnancy and then when the kids are first born that they think that they have to keep it super simple and they really just make it bad because they don't add features that you need. And so it's almost like they're taking technology. It's unbelievable, especially with the baby cams. It's almost like they're taking technology from five years ago, cramming it into some stuff, going, well, these were leftover parts. Let's make this yeah. work. <laughs> yeah. so. Well, I was going to go buy a, uh, a, a double a double wide stroller, you know, the kinds for twins. Yeah. So that I, I could knew put... you were a double wide kind of guy. Yeah. Oh, I am. <laughs> I am. Trust me. And uh, I was going to put, like, the two pieces of our big uh, Samsung Giga uh, yes. Jam boxy thing uh -huh. in the in the stroke, but awesome. they wouldn't fit, you yeah. know. But I was just gonna take that down the road and just crank, just crank it. Up. I'm on a boat, <laughs> <laughs> Chris. You gotta admit, I'm on a boat is one question for you. I'm on a boat. Greatest song of all time? No. Or second greatest song of all time? Not even close. I wouldn't even what? put it in the top. You know, a million. <laughs> oh, wow. Chris, you have just lost John P's friendship. What about wow. you, bro? Sorry. Sorry. If it ain't from Weird Al. It, 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 Weird Al. <laughs> <laughs> which one? Sorry. Eat it. Chris, eat, which eat one? Is eat it is a classic. Eat it is a classic. I gotta give it up. Yeah. Eat it's a classic, but it's far from the best. <laughs> what do you think? What is? What do you think the top like one or two are? Amish Paradise, maybe. That's pretty uh, good. Hard, hardware store. No. Um, I'm going white and nerdy. <laughs> See, you're going with the parodies. Classic rookie mistake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I what love stroller it. did you get, Chris? Which stroller? Which stroller? You I don't. I uh, whatever the one Diana wanted. Yeah, All right. That's a good brand. <laughs> that's a good, I, th good I, th I think I've seen that brand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Diana's it's an stroller. Outstanding brand. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm not sure. I think we've been. Uh, she, she she's done the research. She had noted the origami. Yeah. And I kind of I'm concerned because I don't think paper can really hold a baby that well. <laughs> uh, uh, especially because those things are wet. Right. Right. Like those babies, they're always wet. Yeah. They're this is the problem. I, I, babies leak. This is. I think this is the next problem that needs to be fixed. I, yeah. I would back that on Kickstarter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All nervous right. about that. The whole spit up thing. I could barely. I don't even like my own bodily fluids. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris, I know that you have a show to produce. So in like two minutes. In like a minute, yeah. So I can do it. 
Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks, Congratulations. Chris. Thank you. Appreciate it. Looking fireproof suit that allowed him to stand inside a fireworks show and live. 170 million dollars, people, in cash.